You're excited to leave the cold winters behind and embrace an exciting new life in Palm Springs. But before you even pack up your belongings for a move there, there might be some things that you want to consider. I compiled this list of possible reasons you may not want to make the move. So stay tuned and let's find out. I'm Brandi Valentine, realtor in the Palm Springs area. Palm Springs is a world-class resort destination. We have great weather, it's affordable compared to many other California cities, and there's always something to do. Palm Springs is a place where many people want to move to. So why wouldn't you want to move to Palm Springs? I've put together a list from things I've noticed about living here and from comments and thoughts from friends and clients that have moved here and about the things they really don't like about living here. So let's get started. Yes, it's the desert and you expect it to be hot, but for about three months in the summer, it gets really hot. You really haven't felt hot until you've been outside when it's 122 degrees on the asphalt and the sun is beating down. But it's a dry heat, not really. Sometimes we have humidity in the summer, which comes up from the Gulf of Mexico. Then it gets really brutal. You can imagine getting into your car when it's been sitting in 120 degree weather, which is why I always park in the shade. So if you can't stand really hot temperatures, maybe the summer is not the time to be here. The hottest months are July, August, and September. So locals plan to do most of their outdoor activities in the mornings when it's the coolest. Afternoons between three and 4 p.m. is when we hit the highest temperatures in the summer and it doesn't cool off that fast in the evening, if at all. And remember also the intense summer sun requires extra care for yourself, including sunscreen, sunglasses, and hats. And things that are outside in the sun in the summer will crack and fade, including outside patio furniture, cushions, and umbrellas. Reason number two, the wind. When you drive into Palm Springs from the west, you can't help but notice all the wind turbines. That's because the area between San Jacinto and San Bernardino Mountains, known locally as the Pass, creates a natural wind tunnel. So unless you're tucked up against the side of the San Jacinto or Santa Rosa Mountains, or live in one of the cove areas, you will experience some wind. The windiest time of the year are spring and fall, with January and March tied for being the windiest months. These gusty surface winds usually begin in the late morning hours peak in the afternoon and end by early evening. Winds in the low levels become much lighter at night and in the pre-dawn hours. One other thing the wind does blow dust and sand from the desert around. It's a very fine sand and gets into everything, including your home, even though you have all the doors and windows closed. Reason number three, taxes. Yes, all taxes are higher here from sales taxes to property taxes and income taxes. The Palm Springs sales tax is 9.25%. The Palm Desert sales tax is 7.75%. The local sales tax you pay is a combination of state, county, and local sales tax rates. So it can vary city by city and county by county. The property taxes are somewhat higher here too. A rule of thumb for property taxes is 1.25% times the purchase price of a property. California has among the highest taxes in the nation. Sales and income taxes are generally high, but effective property tax rates are below the national average. California's base sales tax rate of 7.25% is higher than that of any other state, and its top marginal income tax rate of 13.3% is the highest state income tax in the country. Of course, income tax rates will vary depending on each taxpayer's individual finances. Reason number four. Rain or lack of it. Yes, we are in the desert and the average rainfall is only five inches a year. But when it rains, it creates havoc. Roads become really slick fast. People aren't used to driving on rain slick roads, so that creates problems. Most streets don't have gutters, so if we get very much rain in a short time, it runs down the road like a river. In fact, sometimes roads wash out or are closed, particularly in the west end of the Coachella Valley, including Indian Canyon, Ginotru Trail, and Vista Chino. So the good news is rain happens only about 15 days per year, but beware when it does because people here just aren't used to it. Reason number five, transportation. We have the Sunline bus transportation system serving the Coachella Valley, also taxis, Lyft, and Uber, but the truth is you really need a car to get around. Once you're at a place like downtown Palm Springs, the River and Ranch Mirage, or El Paseo Palm Desert, you can park and walk around. But to get from where you are to where you wanna go, a car is a must. And that brings up the cost of gasoline, which is more expensive here. Surprise, surprise. 
The cost of gasoline in California is usually the highest in the country. That's because of taxes on each gallon and refinery costs because California requires special blends to fight smog and pollution. And the blends of gas change from summer to winter. Electric cars are becoming much more popular and you can find charging stations everywhere. So factor in transportation costs when thinking about moving here. Reason number six, diversity. If you are not into diversity, then the Palm Springs area might not be your spot. Palm Springs is truly a melting pot. You can find all kinds of cultures and lifestyles here. Palm Springs is known for its LGBTQ community, but on any given day, you'll find young and old, all ages and nationalities, and the common denominator is that people are, for the most part, very friendly here. So if you don't like diversity, then you may want to reconsider. One thing the diversity brings to the area is a wide variety of places to dine. The opportunity to explore all kinds of foods is just as diverse as the population. There's never a lack of flavors to explore. So along with the population diversity comes restaurant diversity. Both make the Palm Springs area special and different from many other areas. Reason number seven, walkability. As mentioned earlier, you really need a car to get around from one place to another. Palm Springs has a walk score of 59, meaning it's somewhat walkable. In Palm Desert's walkable score is 27. So in Palm Springs, the walkable areas are downtown Palm Springs, the Uptown Shopping District, Ruth Hardy Park, Duluth Park, and of course the hiking trails. And in Palm Desert, the walkable areas include the El Paseo Shopping Area, Westfield Mall, and Palm Desert Civic Center Park. But you really need a car to get to each of these destinations. So if walkability is really important to you, then you may need to reconsider moving here. Reason number eight, snowbirds in the winter season. Yes, Palm Springs is famous as a world ride resort destination and we love the tourists and the snowbirds. But as a local that lives here year round, we really notice the increase in traffic during the snowbird season, which goes from mid-November until April. A main complaint we hear is driving. People that don't live here all the time aren't in the correct lane, drive slower than the speed limit, sometimes are lost, and they really slow down the traffic sometimes. So the checkout lines get longer, wait time at restaurants gets longer, and you need more patience when driving. We shouldn't really complain as tourism is the driving force of our economy and we really normally welcome tourists and snowbirds with open arms. So we need to remember that when our patience starts running a little thin. Reason number nine, fear of earthquakes. Yes, we do have earthquakes here. And yes, we are located very near the San Andreas Fault. In fact, the San Andreas Fault starts under the Salton Sea and kind of parallels Interstate 10 through the Coachella Valley. So this is earthquake country and you need to be prepared for one because they happen from time to time with no notice. Along with the San Andreas Fault, there are numerous active other faults that can cause damage. Most buildings have been retrofitted to withstand moderate earthquakes and we are reminded constantly to have preparations on hand in the event we have the big one. But it is somewhat unnerving when the shaking begins and you wonder if this is the big one. So if you don't like earthquakes or the possibility of one, then this is definitely not the place for you. Reason number 10, the cost of homes. Well, Palm Springs and the Coachella Valley area is more affordable than many other California cities. The cost of homes in the area is 79% higher than the average home cost in the US, but it's less than the California average, which is 139% higher than the US average. In Palm Springs, the average price of a standalone home as of this recording is about 935,000. Home prices jumped 8.1% from last year and the trend is expected to continue for the foreseeable future. So if higher home costs aren't something you can handle, then this place definitely isn't for you. I've done a whole other video on the cost of living here. You may wanna check it out. If you're thinking about moving to the Palm Springs area, buying or selling a home here, be sure to get in touch with me. If you'd like to get in touch with me right away, there is a link in the description below. Now, be sure you watch my next video about the pros and cons of living in Palm Springs. Thanks for watching.